Okay, this is some year nine notes, and uh, we are just looking at a wee bit of revision here to start with. So first of all, equivalent fractions, very straightforward stuff. We should be all over it. And uh, what do I do to the five to get forty-five? I'm timesing up by nine, so I do the same to this. I'm going to times this by nine, and that would give me then thirty-six over forty-five. Three quarters as a decimal and a percentage. As a decimal, of course, is going to be 0 0.75. We do have a way of working that out. If you're not sure, you can do 3 divided by 4, of course, just as a short division. And then a percentage is going to be 75%. 28% as a decimal and a fraction. As a decimal, of course, going to be 0 0.28. As a fraction, then we're going to have 28 over 100. And they both divide by 4, very like our equivalent fractions here where we multiply it up. We can divide both of these by 4. If I divide that by 4, I get 25. If I divide this by 4, I get 7. So 7 25th cent is our fraction. Uh, which is bigger, 5 twelfths or a third? We would need to change it so it's the same denominator. So a third is equal to how many twelfths? We've times that by four, so we're going to times that one by four, so it's four twelfths, so that means that five twelfths is bigger. Uh, improper fractions, write as a mixed number, again something we would have done last year and should be all over. Five into thirty-four goes six times, and there are four fifths left over. Right, as an improper fraction, then 1 and 2 sevenths. 1 times 7 gives me 7 plus 2 is 9 over 7.